Hi. Um, what I'm about to uh, play for you is a video created by Christian Prince, who to me, again, is... He's probably the greatest Christian apologist and, and expose, exposer of Islam on the internet that I know. He's a native, again, native Arab speaker. And he really seems to know the Quran inside and out. I've had him as a, a teacher of Islam uh, for over a decade now. He used to go by the name of uh, uh, Investigate Islam on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, Muslims kept on closing it. The first video he that, that he created that I saw that they ever destroyed was uh, uh, about Quran 328, which basically allows Muslims to lie uh, due to Kia. And that was gone. But anyway, he survived. People, uh, he's, start, he's starting to get a bit of an audience, no matter how much all it says be to probably stop him. <clears throat> and um, since his videos are so friggin' long, to the point where I can't uh, download them, I thought I'd break them up into uh, parts. And into a series called Dismantling Islam with Christian Prince, or Christian Prince Dismantles Islam. So that's probably what I'll call it here. Uh, this video that I'll be playing is one of his. It's called uh, Clear Bible Error versus Amazing Quran Science. Dr. Muhammad Live Debate. So, and it's three hours in some sense. Uh, if you don't want to sit through uh, parts that you have to then look for the other one to play, <clears throat> I will put my, uh, eventually I'll put my uh, uh, link to this. I'll, I'll put a link to it in my description box, I guess you could say. And that way, you can go right to it and see the whole thing. Okay, Clear Bible Error versus Amazing Quran Science, Dr. Muhammad Live Debate. I'm going to play it right now. All right. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today our topic is about the Bible versus the Quran. Uh, as we see in the front of us on the screen, I hope that's first uh, my voice is clear. Please inform me if you have any problem with the sound. Uh, so we can correct the issue and please invite your friends and you can copy a link of the video and post it on YouTube or I mean in Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, invite your friends to join us and uh, maybe we can get some Muslims who have the courage or the knowledge to uh, speak to us. However, based on my experience, Muslims they don't dare really even to do so. As you see in the front of us today in the screen, we have a Muslim, he keeps saying to the Christians on Facebook, until now, nobody answered my question. <clears throat> and what is his question? Uh, simply, he is uh, quoting from the book of Revelation, uh, where it's speaking about the four corners of the earth. And supposedly, this is obviously, according to him, this is a clear uh, scientific error. <clears throat> so today we are going to answer him, and we're going to show him what his Quran says about same issues, and let us see how Muslims can refute what we say. And if there is any Muslim have the courage, ever. And this is a challenge for every Muslim I do exist in this universe. The one who hear me live and the one who will hear me after. Anytime you wish, anytime, any day, any year, as long as I'm alive, for sure. If you have the courage to debate me, let me know. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder, why Muslims, they defend their prophet either by screaming or a threat, they send me death a threat, or by text terrorism, fl flooding the internet with text and false fictions which not exist. Why we cannot find a Muslim who study his religion, he is willing to come and speak to us and debate us and let people judge. <clears throat> the reason for that, they knew if you are a person who know the religion very well, they will never dare to debate you. But if they think that you are just a Western man who do not speak their language, their, the Quran language, uh, you do not know really uh, much about Islam, you will find many Muslims who want to debate you. Actually, they will be fighting over debating you. But the second they notice that you know more than their God himself knows about their religion, they flee. So let us start for today, and I hope my sound again is clear. Please, if you have any problem, uh, let me know, so we can solve the, uh, the issue with sound, if there is any problem. Uh, so the question here in front of us, if you, if you read with me, 
Uh, after this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back our four winds of the earth uh, to prevent any etc. So he is saying that's okay. This is a clear, obvious, you know, uh, error. And he is saying, and he is adding, uh, this is not end, not to east and to west. The reason he add this, by the way, because in the Quran it says that there is two east and there is two west. And, you know, he rushed into posting this, so I will not mention it. He think by doing that, he, he will save himself from being, being busted. Because the Quran says there is two east and two west. How you can have two east and how you can have two west? I will not go by my own interpretation. I will not go by his interpretation. I will go by the scars of Islam interpretation. However, this is the last thing I will play as a card to play here because this is really not my... I will show everybody how stupid Islam is and how stupid the founder of Islam. First of all, if we go in the book of Revelation, <clears throat> all of us, we knew that the book of Revelation is a book of metaphorical, spiritual meaning, which means everything here has nothing to do with anything physically as much it's about spiritual so this is a prophecy about the future about how the angel of god they will be surrounding this earth from every corner for the core four corners of the earth is a figure of a speech and then now is used when i say i have a map and i have south and north and east and west <clears throat> the fact this is nothing but a figure of a speech and it is, if you speak about science, this is foolish to say, because there is no east and there is no west and there is no north. This is something we draw, something we agree upon in order to find out direction. And so we can understand each other. If I say I'm going east, you know what east mean. If I find, if I say, so this is a figure of speech. So a Muslim, he says to you, well, how come the Bible says such a thing if the Bible is, obviously the Bible is wrong because he's saying the four corners of the earth. Let us show you the Quran, Abdul, and you will laugh at yourself. And this why this guy, he keep asking, where is the answer? Where is the answer? You know, every day almost I make a video. And uh, yesterday, actually, I was up until maybe 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, working with a translator who is translating my book to the Dutch language, one of my books. So I, I did not really even, even have enough sleep, but you know, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to get the Abdul busted. So let us do it. If we go to the Quran, and remember, you know, when the Muslims, he quote for us from the Bible, he tried to give us his own interpretation. And this is my challenge to all the Muslims. Find me one interpretation made by any Christians from 10 centuries ago, 14 centuries ago, 17 centuries ago, it says that this, verse is about four corners, physical corners, as let's just say there's a corner to hold. You will not find one. So where do you come with this interpretation? Because simply you are a person who try to false fiction things is not there. However, we as a Christians, we don't do the same as Muslims. If we want to speak about the earth first, we know that the earth is not in a shape of any corners. And the Bible speak about that thousands of years before anyone, anyone, any scientist spoke about it. If we go in the book of Job, and let me go and find the verse, Job 26, verse number 7. <clears throat> Read with me what the Bible says. Amazing, amazing, beautiful statement. He stretches out the north. He stretches out the north <coughs> over the empty space. Here, yeah, there's a mistake in the diving. Uh, over the empty space. I don't know why this uh, website giving the wrong. Uh, I think there's a wrong in the in the printing. Uh, hold on. Let's go. The word is coming funny. Uh, maybe there is something wrong with the code. 
All right, hold on. <clears throat> Let me show you the verses. All right. Read with me, please. He stretches out over the empty uh, place and length the earth upon nothing. So there is an empty place. Some translation it's come as a space. All right. However, it's an empty. So the earth is hanged on nothing, on an empty place. What is that empty place? It is a space. And he hanged the earth on nothing. So how the earth is hanged on nothing, and that is mentioned thousands of years ago, before scientists, they come to us such a thing. And then a Muslim, he will say to us, the Bible says that the earth have four corners. So the first thing the Bible confirmed clearly that the earth is hanging on nothing. Okay, part two coming up of uh, dismantling Islam with the Christian prince. Although right now he's not really dismantling Islam, but we'll see. Bye.